little something to show you today. This is a, um, I've kind of revised the way that I'm storing my collage images and, and uh, cutouts, you know, magazine cutouts and things. It just, my old system, which had worked for me for years and years, is not working for me anymore. And I'm redoing it. But I'm not going to tell you about that in this video. <laughs> this is kind of a two-parter thing. <laughs> um, I am going to make a video and tell you all about that. But this video is to show you how I painted these file folders. I'm using painted file folders. And, you know, for what I'm using them for, I mean, you certainly don't have to. But um, the reason that I painted them is because I needed to get rid of some paint. I have a bunch of mist paints, you know, like Delusions and, and Glimmer Mist. And they are, like I have a drawer full of them. And I need to move some of those out to make room for, you know, all those liquid acrylics we bought at Hobby Lobby. Yeah, those are sitting on my dresser because <laughs> I don't have room to put them. And you know my rule, I, I have to have the space to store it neatly or I can't have it. So I have to move out the old, move in the new. I don't use these mists very often. These are ones that reconstitute in water. So they're not something I use a lot of. And I thought this would be a great way to use some of those up to make space and to make something pretty in the process. So I literally just poured um, spray mists onto these file folders to color them, make them pretty, and to make room in my drawer for some new paint. So that's what I'm doing. And I'll show you how I did it. It's not hard, but it's messy. Um, you're going to need to cover yourself and your work area. And I don't mean just lay down some drop paper. I'm talking like a Dexter kill room here. Like <laughs> line your walls in plastic. Okay? Okay, maybe you don't need to do that. But I'm a little messy and heavy handed. So I have got my handy dandy Dollar Tree... Uh, shower curtain spread out to catch any you know overspray which is funny because I'm not actually spraying but I can still make a pretty big mess I am wearing gloves um, so I don't stain my little fingers and I have collected some mist paints I've got some delusions, I've got some tattered angels, I've got some uh, homemade ones, you know, just ones I have excess of the colors and I just need to move them out. Um, some of them are different finishes, you know, some of them are completely transparent, some are more opaque, doesn't really matter. Color, I don't know, doesn't really matter. Just grab what I had. I am using this is uh, has a little hole in the top. It's a little, you know, squirty bottle. Pretty sure I got this at American Science and Surplus, and pretty sure it was quite a while ago. So I don't know if they still have them, but um, hopefully I'll remember to check before I upload this video and uh, see if they're still there. <clears throat> I'm sure you can get these, like, this reminds me, this whole thing reminds me of getting your hair colored. So I bet you could get something similar at a beauty supply, pretty cheap. Or maybe even the dollar stores might have something. But I'm, and I just, am using one, you know. I don't need to load all my colors up because I use them one at a time. So I've got this, got some paper towels, got my sprays, got some water. Because some of these are pretty intense and need to be diluted. And I've got some blank file folders to color. These are recycled. Some had labels on them and I peeled them off. And then this tub is um, to kind of help me corral all of the spray inks, paints, whatever. So basically what I do is pick a color and let's start with a um, I really like this one. This is called Pistachio Glimmer Mist. And you know what? I'm not going to tell you all of the colors of these because some of them are discontinued. I've got prototypes. 
you know, I've got my homemade ones that I don't have a clue what I made them out of. <laughs> you know, it's been a while. So, I'm just starting with a light green. How's that? I'm pouring it in my little squirty squeezy bottle. And that's about, I might add just a little bit of water to fill it up. Okay, here's here's what you do. You have to be careful is using too much. Um, I do have a stack of drop paper, scrap papers on hand to soak up any excess ink if I get heavy handed as I tend to do. So you might need that. And then all I do is just literally <laughs> squirt randomly. I don't even care what kind of a weird pattern that it makes. I'm going to turn them. You can, you know, purposefully do the inside and the outside. Just the inside. Just do what you want. And this is actually filling up. This is a two ounce bottle, I'm assuming, because this is two ounce and it fits perfectly. And that's really too much for this number of um, file folders, which is, I don't know, 12 or 13. But with a light color, not a big deal. So, squirt them all down good. Anything that's pulled in the bottom, I try to soak it up with the file folders. You know, stick my edges in there or whatever. Stick the bottoms in there, and then anything that's left, I take a paper towel and wipe it out because I don't want a pool of mud down there. And that is what will happen. You'll get a cool paper towel afterwards anyway. Now, you're putting basically watercolor and lots of it onto cardstock. Basically, that's what we're doing, right? These are going to get soggy and be very easy to tear. So just handle them carefully and you'll be fine. If they tear, and some of mine did tear, I just used some packing tape and <laughs> solved that problem. But this is basically all there is to it. Okay, let's do, I have a, red always looks like a blood splatter to me. Let's go with something, uh, not quite so red. Here is a uh, teal-ish color. I'm going to pour into here. It looks pretty dark. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to lighten it up a little bit. I'm going to pour water all over the place. Okay. Mix that up good. And then, whew, yeah. Squirt. You can do blobs if you prefer, or this little thing. I don't want to have to deal with any leftover, so I'm just making it a point to use my whole bottle up. I can go back through, open up the inside, see if there's any place that I missed. There's just something fun about the squirting thing. <laughs> I just really like using this bottle. That's what this whole thing is. It was just an excuse to use that bottle. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to soak up 
some of my drippage if I can. And wipe out the rest. Okay, now let's do maybe this pomegranate. I have a cotton candy. I said I wasn't going to tell you the colors, right? Yeah. Okay, this is a um, red, pinkish red. And I think that whole bottle is going to be too much. So let's do about half. I don't even bother to clean this bottle out between colors because there's usually not enough left in there to adversely affect my new color. Now what you can do, if you like, is I set them beside me onto my plastic and then reverse them. Open them up like this and do this side. That way, insides and outsides get equal treatment. And plus, I don't know which way I'm going to turn these. I mean, at this point, it doesn't matter. But um, this way, I get like, you know, four sides to choose from. <laughs> and I can just pick the one I like best to be the front. <laughs> and now another color. See, it's just basically the same thing over and over. Here's a homemade purple. I don't know what that's going to look like. Oh, I like it. Okay. Let's do that. Alright. Gives me a little less than half a bottle. Let's see if I have another one. Those are blues. Maybe I'll add some of this pomegranate to it. I mean, this unnamed uh, maroon color, which I know is super dark. Let's add water. Now let's see what kind of mess we made. I like it. Now I believe I want another light color. All I have left is this yellow. And can I make it a little orange? What would happen? What would happen if I added just a tad of red? Okay, see, see, look, already gorgeous, right? We'll turn these back around. Oh yeah. Ooh, that is orange. And when you get down to the bottom, you can also just pour some of your leftover paint onto your pieces if you want. Okay. Now, these are actually looking really good. I think I want to do one more thing, which is probably not really wise. Maybe if I do it on the other side. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to flip them and do a blue. 
I've got lots of blues here to get rid of. So, I will do maybe this one. Oh, that's a good one. Okay, do this one. Cover my shoes. <laughs> Damn it. Shoot, Dexter would be so disappointed in me. I thought about everything except my shoes. Well, the water base that should wash out. <laughs> Where was I? Some of these that are still super wet, I can blot, and that will keep them from uh, keep the paint from continuing to mix and get muddy, you know. These look really good, just like they are. See, if you catch the mud while it's still laying on top, you can make it go away. And then it won't cause you any problems. Now, after I've gone through all these, you know, I made sure everything looks okay. Then I've got my oven preheated to, you know, about 225. <laughs> I'll lay these in there to dry. Just kind of every five minutes go in and flip them, you know, remove the ones that are dry. And then, you know, if it makes you happy, you can iron them. And they'll be done. The colors are going to lighten up as they dry, but they're still going to look fabulous. So I'll go dry them and then come back and show you. Okay, y'all, our painty folders are done. They look fabulous. They've been dried and ironed. <laughs> it's not really a necessity, but I like to do that. I also like to take either a paper towel or like a microfiber cloth, and after they're all dry, just wipe these off really good because if your mists have mica powders, you know, mica is just the gift that keeps on giving. And you will shimmer and shine for freaking ever, basically. So I like to wipe off any of that excess. And now I'm ready to add these to my um, other ones in my little collage organizer thing. I said I was going to show you what I did with muddy ones. Okay, these are some where I just used way too much paint and it just all ended up kind of a lovely weird shade of bruised. <laughs> but I did the thing with, you know, I laid down some wax paper or parchment paper, brayered on some white paint and just set these in it, you know? And then that, that tones it down. I could go back with stencils if I wanted to. I don't really want to because it's not that kind of project. Um, but yeah, so even if it turns out too muddy, there's still options. Don't, don't get discouraged. Um, okay, that is all I have for this episode. I'll come back in another video and show you the actual organization of all the collage stuff. But for now, the end. <laughs>